And here's something that I don't mean to freak you out with, but I think is true. Even our memories are not absolutely private in America. Right? Any of us can be compelled in appropriate circumstances to say what we remember, what we saw. Even our communications with our spouses, with our clergy members, with our attorneys are not absolutely private in America. In appropriate circumstances, a judge can compel any one of us to testify in court about those very private communications. And there are really, really important constraints on law enforcement, as there should be. But the general principle is one we've always accepted in this country. There is no such thing as absolute privacy in America. There is no place in America outside of judicial reach. That's the bargain. And we made that bargain over two centuries ago to achieve two goals. To achieve the very, very important goal of privacy and to achieve the very important goal of security. Widespread default encryption changes that bargain. In my view, it shatters the bargain. 